Hello, my fellow crafted boys. My name is Zero Brandon Fury 35, and welcome back to Undertale. Last episode, uh, I simped for Metaton. That was pretty much it. <laughs> also, we were at New Hope, so yeah. That's that. And now we're gonna go through the backstory. So. Well, we've already gone through the hole, so... Over time, Azrael and the human became like siblings. The king and queen treated the human child as their own. The underground was full of hope. Oh, do I have my voice my own? No, I don't. I had, I had to turn off my number pad lock. It was being annoying. You took a key from the chain. Then, one day, the human became very ill. The sick human had only one request. To see the flowers from their village. Um, but there was nothing we could do. Obviously, you all got trapped on the ground by humans! The next day. The next day. The human died. Azrael, black and green, absorbed the human soul, and he transformed into a being with incredible power. With the human soul, Azrael crossed through the barrier. He carried the human's body into the sunset, back to the village of the humans. Azrael reached the center of the village. There, he found a bed of full flowers. He carried the human in onto it. Suddenly, screams ran out. The villagers saw Azrael holding the human's body. They thought he had killed the child. Everything they had. He was struck with blow after blow. Azrael had the power to destroy them all. But Azrael did not fight back. Clutching the humans, Azrael smiled and walked away. Wounded, Azrael stumbled home. Entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. Azrael died. The kingdom fell into despair. The king and queen had lost two children in one night. The humans had once again taken everything from us. You have taken everything from you! The king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. With enough soul, we can shatter the barrier forever. God has been tear from death on his side. It's not long now. King Asgore will give us hope. King Asgore will let us go. King Asgore will save us all. He won't when I kill him. You'll sh you should be smiling too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? We're going to be free. Why don't I go this way? Oh, the last corridor.
Sands. So, you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments, you will meet the king. Together, you will determine the future of this world. That's then. Now, you will be judged. You will be judged for ev for your every action. So this is basically judging us for every action we did. We didn't even kill anyone. You will be judged for every experience you've earned. What's experience? It's an acronym. It stands for execution points. So basically when we kill people. A way of quant quantifying the pain you have inflicted on others. When you kill someone, your execution points increase. When you have enough execution points, your love increases. Love, too, is an acronym. It stands for level of violence. So, of course, it stands for level, but of violence. A way of measuring someone's capability to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt. The more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. You, you never gained any love. To the struggles or hardships you face, you strive to do the right thing. You refuse to hurt anyone, even when you ran away. You did it with a smile. So he's implying that I was fleeing from every monster I encountered. You never gained love, but you gained love. Does that make sense? Maybe not. Now you're about to face the greatest challenge of your entire journey. Your actions here determine the fate of this entire world. Refuse to fight, Asgore will take your soul and destroy your man. But if you kill Asgore and go home, all of you remain trapped on the ground. What will you do? Yeah. If I were you, I would have thrown in the towel right now. But you didn't get this far by giving up me. That's right, you have something called determination. As long as you hold on, as long as you do what's in your heart, I believe you can do the right thing. Alright, we're all counting on you, kid. Good luck. Thanks, Dance. Motivation. We're about to meet Asgore, so this is gonna be a tough challenge. Now, obviously, I'm not gonna fight Asgore because, you know, I play, unless, uh, you know, the game tells me to, then I will. I know how to get too fast for sending in this. I played this so many times. I'm just dumb, dear dumb. Oh, is someone there? Just a moment. I have almost finished watching these flowers. Dinner. <laughs> Here we are. How to? How can I? Oh. Hmm. I, I so badly want to say to you a cup of tea. I would love a cup of tea, chap. But you know how it is. Nice day today, huh? Birds are singing, flowers are blooming. Perfect weather for a game of catch. That's a bluff, Asgore. Huh? You know what we must do, right? Yeah. I'm here to kill you. Alright, come into the next room. Okay, first things first, we're gonna follow Asgore here. Throne room. How tense. Just think of it like a visit to the dentist. Asgore. I want to know. Are you ready? I do not understand. I am not ready either. The end. So this is the barrier. This is the barrier. This is what keeps me trapped underground. 
If, if by chance you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. Continue, we're back. So, continue means we go through the neutral route, but you know, I'm not gonna go through the neutral route. I'm gonna go for the true pacifist. Oh, you see, anything you want to do is important enough. Even something as small as reading a book or taking a walk. Please take your time. Alright, so we're gonna head back. Because I, I know my decisions. Well, I'll really admit this is a nice throne. It's a throne. <laughs> Alright, now, there's a good reason why, now, there was a good reason why I didn't go ahead and just go ahead and do the uh, Asgore fight. It's because, first of all, I'm going to keep dying over and over and over, which is going to be annoying. And you know me, I'm not the type of person who's going to be dying so many times from Asgore's spear. If you look at his spear, that thing is freaking crazy, and spoiler alert, it'll destroy your, it'll actually destroy the, um, it will actually destroy the... I'm gonna head back to the core. Here's where we fought Metaton. Ba 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 Oh, great, I'm not ready. Okay, got 50 gold over there. May you get to a point of the game where, you know, Undying gets to like full view. One time I actually tried to do the true pacifist run before, I accidentally ended up killing someone. I just exited the core. I swear, unknown you should usually Alright, I'll be right back. I'm just gonna quickly search how I get the back of the without killing Asgore or something. Alright, I'm back. So it turns out 
I forgot that I haven't actually come up with Undyne yet, so whoops. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go do some uh, things that we require because I just read a wiki I just wiki read a Undertale wiki article. Turns out in order to get the true pacifist ending, I have to do things with Undyne and Papyrus and all that jazz, so I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna go find now obviously I need to go find papyrus in um it's Snowden or something. So obviously, you know. We gotta go fulfill some unfinished business. However, there is gonna be some obviousness. Um I need to get that I need to get that call from Undyne. Which means I gotta keep fleeing a lot of these fights. Oh hi Muffet. Oh god, I feel like I'm gonna burp. Okay, didn't good. Alright. Um That was easy. Are you going to finish that croissant? <laughs> All right. Um, it's just um, left for one. Oh, Griffin, try a little on the Griffin, or make sure you're ready for the battle. I'm going to play with you. I'm just Snowden. I wonder if I can find Papyrus. Tra la la la, why don't you sing with me? Tra la 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 la. Ba ba da ba 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 That's why I need to get that mysterious key as well, because I think that's what's, uh, you know... I'm surprised I lost a lot of that health trying to fight, um... Yeah, I think that was from me trying to fight freaking Metaton. God, why do I simp for that guy? Waterfall, please. I don't know. <laughs> oh my god, call me heavy Brian because I literally just made that joke. <laughs> oh my god, I remember I was I don't know why Craig just mentioned but decided to put that in my uh my Among Us video, but try to last Hemi Village. Okay, okay. This was literally it. <laughs> you want this? No, take the price. <laughs> Heavy Brian moment. <laughs> oh god. Hopefully I can turn on. Okay. Come back again. Try la la. Don't really care. Shut the hell up for the next three seconds. All right. Oh god. I just saw that. Oh, let's uh, let's also save here just in case uh, you know, we get killed. Okay, we're back in the quiet areas of Waterfall. Oh, hey, Papyrus. Oh, ho! next human arrives. Are you ready to hang out with that guy? I have a plan to make you two great friends. Will you hang out? Yes. Okay, stand behind me. Make sure you give her this. She loves these. Hi, Papyrus. Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? You bet I am. And I brought a friend. Hi. I don't think we've... 
Why don't you two come in? Here, I'm glad. My friend brought a gift for you. All by their own. Uh, thanks. I'll, uh, put it with the others. Jesus, Papyrus. So, I'm ready to start. Whoopsie doopsie, I just remembered. I have to go to the bathroom. You two have fun! Yeet! <laughs> Yeet! <laughs> there we go. That's me after seeing a ship. Oh, damn it, Windows. So, why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? Or to humiliate me any further? Is that it? No. Then why are you here? Wait, I get it. You think I'm gonna be friends with you, huh? Right? Yes. Really? How delightful! I accept! Let's get- let's all frog in the fields of friendship. NOT! Why would I ever be friends with you? If you weren't in the apartment house, guess I'd beat you up right now. You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I will never be your friend. Now get out of my house! Dang! That's a, what a shame! I thought Einstein would be friends with you. But I guess... I overestimate her. She's not up to the challenge. Challenge? What? Papyrus! Wait a second! Darn it! He thinks I can't be friends with you? <laughs> what a joke! I could make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not go- We're just not going to be friends. We're going to be besties! I'll make you like me so much and you won't be able to think of anyone else. <laughs> It's a perfect revenge. <laughs> Why don't you have a seat? Oh, thank you. I want one. Oh. Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. Is it that? Would you like? Hey, don't get up. You're the guest. Sit down and enjoy yourself. Um, what is the point? It's a spear. Thanks. Oh no, I'm not. Hey, you. Hitting on me. <laughs> Trigger goes into. So nice. Okay. Nice job. Bridge? You want the entire bridge? No. Huh? Coming right up. Sasquatch's favorite, isn't it? <laughs> and it's British. It's a British delicacy. Oh my god, I have to move around a lot. Oh god. It'll take a moment for the water to boil. Okay, it's all done. Thanks, Undyne. Here we are. Careful, it's hot. It's not that hot, just drink it already. If you take a sip of the tea, it's burning. But other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Nothing best for my absolutely precious friend. Hey, you know, it's kind of strange you chose that tea. Golden flowers. That's the Oscar's favorite top kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies. Sort of. You know, when I, I was a pretty hot head kid. Once to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on try. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated! Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me. Do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, but from then on, he trained me. One day, during practice, I finally got him down. I felt bad, but he was beating me. I had never seen someone so proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me, and now I'm the head of the royal god. So I'm the one who gets to trade dorks to fight, <laughs> like, a uh, Papyrus. But, um, to be honest, 
I don't know how to get the pirates into the world. Don't tell my son. He's just well. I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's... He's too innocent and nice. I mean, look! He was supposed to catch you. And he ended up being friends with you instead. You could never send him into battle. He'd just get ripped apart into little smiling shreds. That's part of one. I started teaching him how to cook, you know? So, um, maybe he can do something else with his life. Oh, sorry. I was told for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. Wait a second. Virus. It's good enough. He was supposed to have that right now! And if he's not here to do it, have it, he'll have to have it for it. Ooh, okay. Here comes that music. That's right! Nothing has broken parts and I closer than cooking! Which means that I will give you his lesson. Rule because closer than you could ever imagine. <laughs> Afraid? We're gonna be best friends? I think it goes way too far. Oh well. Okay. Let's start with the sauce. Jesus. Envision the vegetable as he creates it. Now, pound the dust with your fist. I will be pound. Strong! You punch the bed full at full floor. You knock over it tomorrow. Yeah! Yeah! Our hearts are uniting against this healthy ingredient. Now it's my turn! Yeah! Just destroyed everything. Uh, just scrape it for a while. Now, oh gosh, she's got some new We add the noodles. Homemade noodles are the best. I just buy store brands. They are the cheapest. Nah. Uh, how are you putting them? They are slow. You throw everything in the pot as hard as you can. Clean the pot. Planks against the empty pot. Yeah! I'm into it! Alright, now it's time to stir the pasta. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is. Ready? Let's do it. We're harder! I am! <laughs> That's the stuff. Alright, now I must step. Turn on the heat! Let the stone top symbolize your passion. Let your golden dreams turn to burning fire. Ready? One more thing to back. Hotter! Hotter! Darn it! Hotter! Wait, that's too. Pyro sucks at cooking. So what's next? Scrapbook? Friendship bracelets? Oh, no much. I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if that makes you feel bad about me. And if we can't be friends, it's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret. <laughs> I've been defeated. My house is in shambles. I failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch. All out on both sides. It's the only way I can gain my lost pride. Come on, give me all you got. Yeah! This time, I'm going to first fight. One. That was a slice with a knife. What? That's the best you can manage? Even attacking at full force? You can't even muster the intent to hurt me, huh? You know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first, I hated your stupid satire shit, but the way you hit me right now, it reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now I know you're not just a wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. Just like him, Papyrus. Listen, human. It seems like you're, you and Asgore are fated to fight. But knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can pursue him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down here. 
and I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? <laughs> oh, and if you do her Asgore, I'll take the human souls across the valley. Beat the hell out of you. That's what friends are for, right? <laughs> Let's get the hell out of this flaming house. Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again another time, but, um, somewhere else In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang with the pirates. If you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give the pirates a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk too. Well, see you later, punk! Sounds like only Fire lives here now. Fiery, get the hell out of Undyne's house! What? 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 It's a living. Well, just burnt down Untyne's house feeling good. <laughs> Craig Barber, if you're watching this, you better hope you do not make another, uh, me pretending to be Tommy in a joke. So wait, hold on, I need to get back to, um... Where's that river person? Oh, it's here. Of course. Hello, okay for a ride, we're in the boat. We're today, Hotlands. Gotta head back to Hotlands, because, you know... Because since, uh, you know, I've already dealt with uh, Papyrus, and now I've dealt with Undyne. Oh, la la, the waters are the wind today. That's bad luck. Yeah, so... <laughs> Come again sometime, tra la la. Alright, now we can go back to the core. Wait for fleet. Now, there's a reason why, uh, you know, I can start doing the grinding then after the Plague Egg will undone. Because I remember seeing a video of, like, someone actually uh, get, still getting the true passive descending after murdering
Alright, I'm back. So, um, turns out, I actually do need to find out what's going before I can go to the next So, I'm going to decide if I'm going to go and, uh, do something. I'm going to go to Timmyville. Now, by the way, um, I may or may not have done some little loud. I may or may or may not have just pulled a New Vegas and Skyrim cheats. And all I did is I just gave myself like a crap ton of gold, as you can see right there. There's a reason why I did that. Um, I just, I'm, you gotta remember, I'm lazy. And you know, in the end, it doesn't really matter if I cheat or not. It's just a matter of fact, when I get this series done, in my opinion. We're gonna try to go find the Temi village. Okay, we're gonna like run away from these people again. <clears throat> now, I would have used the dog residue to purchase things, but you know, I actually sold them. I threw away all my dog residue because I didn't want them. Finding which one, you need to know which way I'm going, so. Oh, where's Timmy Village? There we go, we're in Temi Village. You feel something. You feel something. Roger. You pay for college. Whoa, that's a lot of money. Uh, can I really accept a 
Okay, I go to college and I'm really proud. <laughs> She's pogging still in the background. That's weird as hell. Ah, she got her diploma. Now, however, there's another reason why I wanted. Don the Tamiyama. Oh god, my throat is sore, I'll be like... Alright, I'm back. Like I said, I had to... I had to go get a drink, because my throat is just drying up again, like always. So yeah, I won't be uh, screaming. I won't be uh, screaming that much. <clears throat> it's just a matter of fact, like... Of course, it's just a bit... ...dry. We might as well also uncover a lot of these secrets. Then... After we finish uncovering all these secrets, we then... We might fight, I might actually, like, cut and then fight Asgore in the next video. Nothing happened, obviously. Now, there's a reason why I need that mystery key. Now, that may or may not have to be with Sansa's house. Let's go back down to L1. And head towards the Heartlands and towards Sansa's house. After that, we'll do eventually, and then I'll start part two. Mystery key. Now that mystery key has its purpose. So I'm it's locked. Okay. 
this mystery key for then? How do you get inside Sans's place? True. Alright, so I have no episode.